Good morning. As I started my homily, I looked up and saw three doves flying, perching on one of the beam of the roof of the church. I was so inspired that only one thing came into my mind. And I asked everyone to look up, see the three birds, and immediately, spontaneously, applause came from the whole congregation. I said to myself, they got the message. It was a clear reminder, the presence of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in our midst during that Sunday, the same feast of the Most Holy Trinity. When the Most Holy Trinity always came to our mind, there is always one thing that also came into our mind. That we said, how could this happen? How the things exist? How this thing is possible? that even the church would not be able to explain how it is, except by our faith. They said, it is the mystery of the most holy trinity. Then, how could we define our faith that we would be able to grasp at least the hints of the existence of the most holy trinity? Faith it is said that being sure of what you hope for. I'm sure of that because of our faith, everything would be possible. And certain of things that we do not see, as simple as my definition of faith is all about. Things that we never see, we never exist, we never think but our faith try to explain to each and every one of us. Today, as the solemnity of the most holy trinity, three persons in one God, but more than the mystery of the trinity, let us focus on the indwelling love within the trinity, the overflowing love of the trinity for you and me. Yes, we are united with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And today's gospel, we hear the most important line in the Bible history. Every time we celebrate certain special day, we always ask, what be the best gift that I am going to receive? Day to day of our life, we always expect something beautiful as the Lord may grant us, that may give us. Now we can ask, even once in a moment of our life, well, what is the greatest gift that the Lord has given to mankind? And this is the answer for this very good question. We hear the most important line in the Bible that says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that everyone who believes in him might not be perished but have eternal life. Rejoice. Hallelujah. God has given us the greatest gift that he gave his only son that we should not be perished but have eternal life. How beautiful it is to feel to have that statement that the Lord has given to each and every one of us that will always be true in thy things in our life. And it is so consoling to know that we are loved 
and that we are participants of God's loving will and a plan of God. It is not just the plan of God to make mankind, but we participate in the plan of God in the future and beautiful everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn, but that the world might have to be saved through him. What a great assurance is. Even though many times we have failed, many times we have promised God to be with him, but we fail, we deny him because of our sinfulness. And yet the Lord doesn't fail, doesn't give up on us. He's always there in spite of us. Many times we serve and we receive things from God and gifts from God that we do not even deserve. But then God has given to us that we should be thankful enough for all these beautiful things that the Lord gave us. In this very moment, God has given us the gift of your presence. That many are called, but you are the chosen one today. Rejoice. God has inspired you. It is not just by chance, but God make a plan and give him to each and every one of us to enjoy and participate in this Eucharistic celebration. And we can say amen to the Lord. May we not forget that we are saved with much suffering, sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ. May we not be indifferent, being cold, and ungrateful for God's tremendous love for each and every one of us. All too often we take for granted or even forget God and deny God in circumstances that we should profess our faith, whatever happened. In our daily life, sharing with joy that triple A. You know, we have a triple A for car assistance, but we have also triple A for our faith that we should always remember. A prayer so that we can recharge when we are in low butt, when we are prostrated, when we are down. It will recharge us. It will remind us once again and refocus on God's presence in different times during the day. The first A, they said, Acknowledge God's presence. It is not just in the church, or it's not just on our religious activities, or when we see the signs and images of religious things that acknowledge God's presence, but day-to-day -day life that we live in. Most especially when we are confronted with things that we need to profess our faith. Just in a simple traffic, you know, argument. A lot of times we curse, we make these dirty fingers, we say a lot of things that sometimes we regret it if we are confronted with our faith. We cannot just acknowledge God's presence in simple little things when we are angry when we are frustrated, when we are down, simply we forget about the knowledge of God's presence. The second thing they said, accept God's presence. Of course, we know in our mind, we profess God's presence, we think that, we, but a lot of times, we do not accept. God's presence in our life. We are converted, we are convinced God is important, but 
we do not accept it. He said, if you find Christ in your heart, show it in your face. Show it in your hands. Show it in your words. It is not just that we keep them. It needs to have fruit. It needs to have acceptances. It needs to be professed that others may see what do this person has that he can be as good as it is. We had to make a difference. The third is abide in God's presence. Always be with him. Abiding in God's presence will only reflect on the things of what our heart has won. Whenever we are sick, we always look for that medicine that can alleviate the pain that we have. There are some kinds of medicine, but we choose the best one. We always find for the result of the things that we take. Same thing also with our faith. What is hidden in our heart should always have a reflection of the things that we believe in. Beautiful things. By its fruits, you will know them. And this triple A, a prayer at a different times of the day so that you can connect with the Holy Trinity. The awareness of God's presence should remind us to be patient. A lot of times, we always want instant. So what we do, would like to have instant coffee, instant food, instant, because we don't have the patience. But the sabor of the things that we take need to be patient. Sometimes our prayers need to wait. A lot of times when we pray, Lord, give me something in this moment because I need it in this time. But sometimes the Lord say, no, not on your time, but on my time. It's the best time that you can have things in your life. Prayer of patience. And this is the gift that we need to have in life. God's presence should be with us in patience and be kind and be hopeful, be helpful, and be joyful in whatever circumstances we experience. The acknowledgement and acceptance that abiding in God's presence can help us to see a bright picture and reminds us of our participation in God's master plan. June, the month of June, my dear brothers and sisters, is the Sacred Heart month. May our hearts be more and more like the Sacred Heart. Let us pray that our hearts become a humble and more prayerful and more generous, more loving and kind. Let us also empty our heart of hatred, selfishness, and pride, most especially. Think about this, my dear brothers and sisters. Something that we can think about after this Mass, when we go home, at least for this week. Measure your life not so much by your possession, or what you have, what you keep, you have, but by the heart, you have touched on what things that you have. By the smile that you created that make people happy. And by the love you have shared. We pray to our Heavenly Father for this beautiful day that the Lord has given us. That we pray that help us, Lord, to acknowledge, to accept, and to abide your presence every day in our life. Amen.
May you have a pleasant good morning ahead of you. God bless us all and God love us all.